So just the other day, I released my review of the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, and I told you guys why I thought that it was probably the best Wear OS smartwatch on the market. The battery life is quite good out of the box, but in today's video, I'm going to show you a handful of tips and tricks to help further extend your battery life. Very, very simple stuff to do, and to show you this in the easiest possible way, I'm going to be showing you the screen on my Z Fold 4 and going through those settings there. So let's jump into them first. You have to keep in mind that this device does have an OLED screen. So by virtue of that, using a display or a watch face rather that has darker imagery is going to help save battery because that black area is not having to be lit up and that does save battery life. So go into your watch faces and pick one that isn't super full of bright colors, right? It's like this analog clock. It's probably going to use more battery life than what I have on mine here. That's a great place to start. Speaking of that display though, that is another thing that does drain a lot of your battery. So we can go into our watch settings and then go into display and look for brightness up here at the top. You can see mine auto brightness is turned on, but if you want to save some battery life, what you could do is disable auto brightness and then drag that brightness to a spot that you think is the absolute minimum that you're gonna be able to get away with. You can see my watch actually changing in real time there. Put it where you think like, okay, that's about the, the, you know, the least I can handle, and you are gonna save some battery like that as well. Always on display is another option that some people wanna use. It's gonna do exactly what you think it's gonna do. When you turn it on, your display will now always be on. So you're not relying upon the raise to wake or the touch to wake, but that is going to use up a lot of power. So I would leave that disabled and either use raise wrist to wake or touch screen to wake, whichever one you think is going to turn on the screen accidentally the least amount. Check out your screen timeout, 15 seconds of inactivity. You know, put that at the lowest amount you can handle. A 15 is the minimum. I think that's the default. I would not put that any higher. Under Samsung Health, there's several things that you can do here as well on heart rate. Having this on measure continuously is nice, but that's going to drain your battery. I have mine set to every 10 minutes while still, if you don't care that much about your heart rate, maybe put it to manual only. That's going to help out. Uh, stress, I don't care about the stress tracking. I don't think it's accurate or really gives me any real information. I have that on manual only as well, so that's not going to be chiming in. Blood oxygen during sleep. If you wear this thing to sleep, unless you have some sort of blood oxygen related issue, you're worried that your numbers are dropping too low, I will probably turn this off as well. Bear in mind that in my instances, it has me occasionally when I was using it, my blood oxygen dropping into the mid 80s, which would probably render me unconscious if it were accurate. So probably not super accurate. Anyways, leave that turned off. Snore detection while you're sleeping. Do you have, maybe you're worried you have apnea or something. If you don't, if you're not worried about these things, leave these things turned off. Auto detect workouts. If that's not a feature you're going to use, turn that off. Probably not going to save a lot of battery, but you might save a little bit there. Check out your notifications. Are there apps that you don't want to get notifications of on your watch? Things that you, you just don't care about. You'll, you'll see it when you pick up your phone. Not that urgent. Well, go ahead and turn those off so that you will have less instances of your screen waking up and that little vibration motor going. All these things do add up over the course of three or close to four days like I get that's going to add up on the same screen. Show phone notifications on watch. So you can have it where it shows alerts when the phone is not in use or when it is in use as well. I would keep this on only show notifications when your phone is not in use. So if your phone is in your hand and you're using it, there's no need for your wrist to vibrate and wake that screen up and waste a little bit of battery life. You can also come down here to advanced notification settings and maybe have this turned off. Turn on screen. By default, I think by default, mine is set so that when I get a notification, the screen wakes up to tell me that the notification has come in so that I can see it. Well, you could turn that off and just basically trust that the raise wrist to wake feature is going to work fine. So on this last one, I think you have to do this on the watch itself. Go to your settings and go to connections and look for a Wi-Fi and go ahead and turn that off if it's not something that you're going to be using. The watch will just use its Bluetooth connected to your phone and will do what it needs to do through that. If it's turned on, basically there's another setting here that is called remote sync, which it's, you know, there's, I'm sure there's other things that it can do as well. I believe that's in here. Remote connection is what it's called. Sync data between your phone and watch over Wi-Fi, which is there if you lose Bluetooth connection. 
things data will still be able to sync. That's not that big of a deal. Typically, you're watching your phone or probably both on your person. Turn off that Wi-Fi and potentially save a little bit of battery there. And then under the battery section, last but not least, there's a power saving mode, okay? That's going to turn off all wake-up gestures, turn off the AOD, turn off Wi-Fi. It's going to limit the CPU speed because that's going to help a little bit decrease brightness and several other things that you can turn that on. And you're going to save a quite large amount of battery. They're saying power saving battery like three days and four hours. Bear in mind, I've already gotten a day. So we're looking at well over four days doing it that way. Whereas as I have things set now, you've seen all my settings. I'm looking at getting almost four days. So there you go, guys. It's a great watch and the battery life is good out of the box, but there are a few tips that you can utilize to extend that battery life just a little bit further. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.